Please ensure that your modem router is connected to your computer using the Ethernet cable before continuing. Open your web browser. In the address bar type in 192.168.1.1 and then press enter. If prompted for the modem's username and password, type in admin for both of them and then hit enter. Click on wireless on the top and basic settings on the left. Ensure that enable wireless network is ticked and hide wireless main network is unticked. Make a note of the wireless main network name SSID as you will need this later. Alternatively, you can change that to your own name. If you have made any changes, click on the apply button. Click on security on the left. By default, the Dynalink units come with a disabled security. You can leave this if need be. Alternatively, you can change it to 64-bit WEP. The authentication type will be Open System. The format will be hexadecimal digits. In Key 1, you can type in your network key. It has to be 10 digits between 0 and 9 and A to F. For example, A1, B2, C3, D4, E5. Make a note of what you have typed into the Key 1 section as you will need that later then click apply. You can also choose to use WPA PSK as your security type. The data encryption will be on TKIP, the format will be on ASCII characters. In the pre-shared key section is where you can type in your security key. It can be anything you'd like as long as it's between 8 and 63 characters. For example, A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The WPA group rekey interval should be 3600 0, 0 seconds. Then click Apply. Make a note of what you have typed into the pre-shared key section as when the screen reloads, your key will be replaced with dots. All the other settings should be kept as default. Once this is all done, you should be able to configure your computer to connect to your wireless network. You can then just close the window.